Hey everyone, MindTricks here, and this is a video on the best set combo and like my talismans and my damage setup. Um, this is my second time recording it because I did the whole thing and my mic was muted, so that hurts inside. And hopefully I remember some of the stuff I talked about and get all the points, but I just want to showcase the current strongest set in the game. Looks like I also have the wrong boots on me, so I have to go grab my strong boots. Um, so the best set that I've been using is Tux with Tarantula Helmet, Tux Chest and Legs, and Strong Boots. So that's the set that currently does the most damage um, out of all the other sets. Although Full Tux does do more, but you have 250 HP and that's just not viable as a set. Um, so what I use for Slayers, so for Revs and Spiders, I will run, I can run this set. Um, for Spiders it's kinda hard because I don't have a lot of defense since my helmet is leveled up, so I can die to the, the red name uh, bosses and mini bosses. So I can switch out my set, my strong boots, with like, I can run the chest plate with the immune to healing reduction, and then I put in the tux boots, so I'll do tux boots and legs, and then I'll have tarantula helm and chest plate. If I want a, a bit more defense, um, it's getting an in-between between survivability and like damage. Um, for uh, uh, for revs, I can easily survive with two pieces tuck, strong boots, and tarantula helmet. It's the most, it's the best set for damage. Um, I'm going to showcase it right here in a second. Hit this guy at 207,000 damage, which is really really good. Um, if I put on full tux, it does I think 270,000 damage. I think I wrote it down. Okay. Put on full tux here, you'll see 270,000 damage. Right there, 274,000 damage, so it's a lot, but as you can see, I have 240 HP, so it's not very good at all. Uh, if I put on Tarantula Boots, this is what I use for dragons. I'll be using two pieces Tarantula, two pieces Tux. I get 192,000 damage, so it's slightly less than running Strong Boots. Strong Boots gives uh, like 35 strength and 10 crit damage with the uh, Reforge, so that, that's the best for damage. Um, this, be both these sets combos beat full tarantula and full superior if i grab my tarantula if i can made my chest is a mess already um we'll just put on full superior for now the full superior is stronger than tarantula but it's 168,000. that is on first hit so on the first hit it does more damage than tarantula but because the tarantula is 100 percent more damage on the fourth hit so like 25 percent damage buff it's better if you're doing like a a boss like a slayer boss because on the fourth hit it'll activate giving you like 25 percent more damage if you need it for the boss but if you want to care about like first hit damage um superior is better superior also has more defense of course and more survivability so it's up to you what you want to use like say from for wolves though i'll run massive just to be safer because i don't like dying um, but some people run superior. You can't do wolves and tucks. You'll just get demolished by the wolf. You don't have enough like survivability. Um, I don't think you can. You can do it in tarantula, but again, you have a lot less survivability than superior. So it's that trade-off between survivability and damage you have to find. And I'm gonna do the last right here, which is full tucks. And I'll show you the damage on this. Get to the mob, 150,000. So once I get the 25, it's like the fourth hit buff, that activates and does like a lot more damage. Um, so that'd be good against if I'm fighting the actual boss. I'll also show you the rev set damage. So this is if I want to be really surviving. So this is when like tier 6, 7 slayers come out. It depends. I'll be seeing what the combo is. So 123,000 damage between survivability and damage. So do I need to run two pieces tarantula? I mean, two pieces tux, tarantula helmet with rev boots for the defense against revs, or do I need like two pieces of rev and then tux chest and tarantula helmet? Where is the trade off and how does it work? Um, what is like the best combo to do to survive, but then do the most damage I possibly can in like the update? So that's gonna be really interesting to see where the trade offs with the different slayers are for that. Um, but this is like a really, really, really tanky set. Mine's almost at all 100k kills. But you can get it up to like 500,000 for like even more defense. And also I could have a Reaper Mask for a bit more defense. I'll be getting that soon. Um, I haven't AFK killed my Tarantula set up yet. 
I think I was going to do that soon. I have mining minions down right now for upping my mining, which also coincidentally ups my defense too, which is helpful. Um, I want to talk about now what my actual stuff is, like how am I getting so much damage. Uh, I'm using Spice Reaper Falcon. It's maxed. Hot Potato Books, Spicy, and Reforge, Smite 6, and all that. I do have Combat 50, so I got that recently. Um, if I can go over here. I combat 50, I'm number 36 in combat. I think there's like 50 people or so with combat 50. Uh, in forging, I'm working on my forging right now. I'm only forging 21. Um, but I'm working on getting that to 25, so that's even more strength. And it, you can keep going, upping that. And then my talismans here uh, are all itchy. So all my commons and uncommons are itchy. All my epics and legendaries are strong. And all my rares are forceful. I'm going to talk about this a bit more in a second. Um, and I have one epic that is godly to get me to 100% crit chance. If I'm not holding a sword with giving me the 1% crit chance, I'm at 99% because this the, the reforged spicy gives 1% crit chance. Um, with talismans, if you run, depending what armor you wear, depends like what reforged you want the rares to be. So if you're running tux or tarantula, you want the rares to be. Uh, forceful for strength because strength is more needed with tux you have so much crit damage you want more strength to balance it out and with tarantula it gets the helmet gets buffed by more strength if you're running superior rev armor or mastiff you want itchy or any of the other dragon sets you want your talismans to be itchy because you need more crit damage instead of strength so it's finding a balance i think with tarantula full tarantula it's a bit of an in-between between how many forceful and itchy. I think you use more forcefuls usually. Um, this will also change depending if you want to calculate with you having an orb or a tuba. If you want to calculate your um, max damage, if you're trying to min-max, you have to calculate if you want to use the orb flux while you're doing the testing. I, I didn't myself, um, but I know with Tux, I have to have all of them forceful for the most damage possible because I need more strength. So you can like test between, you can like test it yourself if you want and like enchant them and like reforge your talismans to see what combo of rares being itchy or forceful gets the most damage for your armor set you can use a talisman optimizer but it isn't the best um depending how you want to calculate it with like which sores and stuff like that so i just want to go through that and show you guys the damage test there i feel like i'm probably forgetting something but i'm gonna head over to the end and just show some more damage tests against the zealots um hopefully i'm not forgetting too much i feel like i probably am Spooky events pretty soon, so hopefully I can get possibly a fifth horse. Um, got four here. It'd be really nice if I can get another horse. I think I'm gonna start with superior armor when I head over there. These strong boots, strong and superior boots look like really similar. Okay, we're gonna head over there and test some damage. Um, there's a pets update coming, so that's gonna be really exciting. It's gonna be cool to see how um, pets edit your like damage and stuff like that if they do. Um, but yeah, so do some more damage tests. Let me pop up my Midas. Uh, just a max Midas has all the same stuff, like all the enchants you need. So 109,000 damage right there to the zealot. 108,000 damage. And if we grab Tarantula real fast, hopefully we can do this decently fast. Try not to die to the Endermite. Tarantula, it's hard to find. That's Revenant. <laughs> Trancha, Trancha, okay. Trancha should be weaker. Find the zeal that hopefully spawns soon. And all of are always like really, really full. 98,000 damage, so it does less. But again, if you're, if you don't, aren't into one-shotting, and you want more like damage, so like say you're fighting a dragon, like the fourth hit bonus will be very helpful. So that's why Trancha is better than superior on dragon fights. Um, It's really good for it. Tux is better, um, but part Tux, part Tarantula, but Tarantula is still quite good, especially with the buff there. So let me switch it out, grab my new sets, my Tarantula, my Tux set I mean, oh I can't English, um, Tux there, and then if I can find the rest of it, there, got the helmet. So this is usually the same here for all these three pieces, but then it's the boots that I swap out and change depending on what I want to use. So we'll go with the weakest here. Test on this Zalot over here. And we got 123,000 damage, which is quite good. We pop on the strong boots. This one spawns. 131,000 damage, so like another 10,000. And then if we do the full tux, you'll see it's a lot more damage. 
Um, once one spawns again, to wait. Gotta wait. There's people always here farming for the summoning eyes. 169,000 damage, so a lot more, but again, 250 HP, I'll die quite easily here. Um, but yeah, I just want to showcase all that. Hopefully I'm not missing too much. I feel like I probably am. If I place Overflux and place Tuba, I can do a lot more damage. I think with Revs, I can HUD over there, probably just do some more damage testing. With Revs, if I Sword Swap, it's actually pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it all the time. But when I do like the bosses, like Rev Boss on stream, I can kill it like in four seconds, which is really, really cool. I'm like, I'll do the test here with like Tuxon. Um, but if we grab our tuba also, just for more damage. We sort swap here. If I can do it, maybe I'm a bot. 465,000 damage, which is really cool. Got our tuba now, we can place our overflux. Pop our tuba. 523,000 damage. So that's pretty, pretty crazy. Um, this is using the tux though, so I'd have put on strong boots. And then if we. And we have two buff, move that, and sword swap, 391,000 there. So, really cool. Um, it's really fun to just demolish rev bosses. We'll see how easy tier 6 and tier 7s are next update. But it's really nice to just be able to, like, totally to kill it in, like, a few seconds in, like, 4 or 5 hits. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully in, like, the update with the new Slayers, uh, we'll see if people are able to actually solo the tier 7s and find a way between like survivability if they have to be super tanky But it is possible. Maybe they'll find a way with like the super tanky uh, set here um, But we'll see what happens or we might not even need that much tankiness. We can just have more tuck sets pieces or tarantula um, For damage, but yeah, I just want to show some damage um, I think I talked about my update video should have been out like a day or two ago about ammo blades So that might be cool. We'll see how much if we do get it, I don't think we will. I don't know. I don't feel like paying 50 mil for tax, but ML Blade does do more than Midas at 190 million coins. Um, so I don't know how much more I would do to add to it. And I don't know if it'd actually be better than a Reaper Falcon if I'm trying to test it against zombies. But it's pretty cool to see. Um, there's like the, the highest critical chance leaderboard. You saw there, I think, Complex. At one time, Miniclean rolled an update in, in the Shredder's bug. So you could use a Shredder and hit a mob and it'd do like 500 million damage. Um, but I think with right there, this is like 523,000 damage. I think that's mostly everything max. I got God Pots on, Strength 8, Crit 4, Spirit 4. Um, if I use my End Sword to like uh, get more mana to the extra damage, I could probably do like six, 700,000 damage. But pretty cool. Just trying to max as much damage as possible. Um, I love wearing the set. It's just a really cool combo. Um, just like do as much damage as possible. But yeah, now I'm just ram rambling on, but I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Just look take a look at like some of the top damaging sets and what's the best set currently for damage. Um I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.